Today we are going to look at series connected flyback transformers and the half bridge drive circuit. The transformers originally came from a 40 kilovolt electrostatic precipitator. The first thing to notice is that the primary windings are separate from the secondary and they are spaced out from the core. The two primaries are wired in parallel and the secondaries, if you look, we have the negative lead out. There's a uh, positive lead out to the negative lead in on the second transformer and positive lead out. So the secondaries are connected in series. So the original drive circuit lacked a lot of controls that I wanted. So I put together a half bridge driver using the TL494 driver chip. And I optically coupled an output drive circuit. The dual output from the TL494 goes to two HCPL 3120 optocoupler drivers. And these are made to drive uh, VETS and IGBTs. There's like a uh, two amp drive output. And these will work quite well at 50 kilohertz. So here's our protection diode. It goes right across the emitter and the collector. You'll also notice the transformer has the dual secondaries. One secondary goes to this supply and the other one over to here. Now you have your isolated high side driver. So the ground return is actually at the collector side on the low side driver. That's why you need that isolated supply for the gate drive. That's the return for the gate. So here is the waveform on the gates. And we can adjust our duty cycles. So here is the instrumentation for our electric spark experiments. This is a 500 DC microamp amp meter used as a voltmeter. It is used with, there are 50, 2 meg ohm resistors on this column. So that gives us 100 million ohms, 500 microamps, is 50,000 volts. And a milliamp meter that reads one side of the spark gap through the milliamp meter and we have a connection to the negative lead on our transformers. You'll also notice I have a cup lead and that goes to ground. So we definitely have one side positive and one side earth ground. Real nice setup if you want to charge up capacitors. So here's the waveforms of the setup. The upper waveform is the collector on the low side drive. Bottom waveform is a loop of wire wrapped around the transformer core. And this is run as a series resonant transformer at just over 40 kilocycles. 
I have a spark gap set up and it will trigger at around 40,000 volts. Here is the power supply meters. About 110 volts input. So on this next setup, we're going to discharge a 0.025 microfarad capacitor through the spark gap. There's our charging resistor. It's a 1.5 mega ohm charging resistor. On the discharge end, I have a 1k ohm resistor to limit the discharge current. These are not exactly Maxwell capacitors capable of handling thousands of amps. So we'll use what we have and see the results. On the ground lead, on the discharge block, I have a current transformer and we're going to read the ring from the discharge on the oscilloscope. We we'll have 15,000 volts on the discharge. Here is the oscilloscope reading on a discharge. It looks like uh, 5 microseconds per division, so we're right around a 200 kilohertz oscillation frequency. Here is a schematic diagram of this project.